Hello guys. Today I am here to discuss about important myths about the COVID-19 vaccine that are not true. First of all, I will take individual myth and I will give my appropriate explanation to each and every myth which is circulating in the social media. This statement is absolutely false. The COVID-19 vaccines themselves were developed quickly, but the clinical trials which examine the safety and efficacy were not rushed at all. Safety was not compromised in any way. What happened quickly was the finding the vaccine to test. And in the 1980s, it took scientists so long to do this. But thanks to the scientific advances we have made over the years, we can find viruses so quickly. And COVID-19 is similar to that of other coronaviruses we have seen in humans like MERS and SARS. So the previous research that could be used to speed up the process, which means the vaccine is extremely safe and effective to prevent the spread of coronavirus disease. And this statement is also absolutely false. With vaccines, if there is going to be a complication or side effect, it would be in the form of an allergic reaction. If it occurs, it occurs within minutes to hours after receiving the vaccine. But if we are not seeing any kind of serious side effects during this time, we can pretty much know that it will be safe down the road. This statement is also absolutely false. There is no live virus what we can see in the vaccines. So they cannot infect you at all. And basically the vaccines make our bodies produce one single protein from the virus. The protein that infects our cells. And by making the protein, we prevent infection. And you might have the side effects like headache or chills. But that's because your body is creating an immune response and not because you have an infection because of the vaccine. And this statement is also not true by any means. If you see the statement of the Center of Disease Control, CDC, recommends that those who have had COVID-19 get the vaccine also. And there is a preliminary evidence that the vaccine offers better protection than having had the virus. Sometimes hard to know whether you actually had COVID-19. People who had COVID-19 in the earlier days, before we had laboratory testing available, were being diagnosed based upon the symptoms and not the test also. And some of the tests are not absolutely 100% accurate. So irrespective of whether you have a COVID-19 earlier or not, it is very important for every individual to take the vaccine. But once you got affected by COVID-19, you will develop antibodies once you get cured, that is after the 14 days or 20 days of your quarantine period. And because you already have the antibodies which are circulating because you are infected with the COVID-19, it is appropriate that you will take the vaccine approximately six to eight weeks after you are infected with the disease. And this statement is false. People who have underlying conditions like diabetes and heart disease, for example, are at a high risk of getting complications from the COVID-19. So it is even more reason whom they should get vaccinated. Talk with your doctor who is helping you to manage the condition if you have any concerns related to taking the vaccine. And this statement is false also. 
people with the suppressed immune systems like from the cancer treatments or autoimmune diseases should definitely get vaccinated. Remember an important point here that the vaccine will not hurt you since it does not contain the live virus. Those with suppressed immune systems will still get protection from COVID-19. Just not as much protection as those with the healthy immune systems. Again, talk to your doctor or any physician nearby you if you have any specific symptoms. This statement is false. If you talk about uh, the various vaccines which are available in the market, most of the companies use messenger RNA, mRNA to protect us from the COVID-19. And I think that is where this rumor comes from. Remember an important point here that mRNA is basically gives ourselves the blueprints for the factories that will build the protein to protect us from COVID-19. People get scared that mRNA will cause the virus to go into our DNA and mutate us. But it does not even go into the central part of the cell where we have our DNA. So that's the reason it is extremely safe and do not believe the rumors. And this statement is false. There is absolutely no data from the clinical trials or any of the theoretical reason as to why these vaccines could cause infertility. This is the most famous rumor I have heard so far in the social media. In fact, we know that the pregnant woman with COVID-19 infection could have a miscarriage or go into premature labor, which is all the more reason to get the vaccine. This statement is also false. The CDC believes it is fine for the pregnant woman to get the vaccine. If you are pregnant and in a group that should be urgently vaccinated like a healthcare worker, you should get vaccinated. And if you are concerned about the risks versus the benefits, you have to talk to your physician nearby. But I can say very clearly that the pregnant woman who contract the viruses can have complications or pass diseases to their babies and the same goes for the breastfeeding. Since the vaccine is not a live virus, you can't pass anything to your baby. There's a reason it is extremely important for all the individual to take the vaccine. This statement is also absolutely false. You absolutely still have to wear masks and have to maintain social distance. If you're walking around in public, how you do know who is vaccinated? And no vaccine is 100% effective. Remember that point. Still 5 to 10% of the people can get the COVID-19. These vaccines are appropriately, we can say that 95% effective, which is an incredibly high percentage. But that means there will be still 5% of the people who won't be protected by the vaccine also. So get a vaccine, wear your mask, and then few months later, then we would know that everyone has been vaccinated. Then we can go back to the life the way it was earlier, that is before 2019. Thank you everyone, stay safe, stay healthy and get vaccinated as early as possible.